On November 9th and 10th, 2009, more than 1,400 people came together from across the United States for a single purpose, to change the odds for success for poor children across America. Participants from 106 communities came to the conference to learn about the work of the Harlem Children's Zone and President Obama's Promised Neighborhood Initiative. Here are a few excerpts from the plenary speakers. We've got to do something, yeah, to save the children. In the end, if you are not here because you are determined to improve the lives, of poor children who have nobody else to turn to but you and I. There is nobody else they can get to come in and save them but us. And if, how is it that you go into some of the most devastated places in this country and you save not some of the children but all of them? That's what we're trying to figure out what to do. You are here, I know, because the federal government has dangled the prospect of resources to be a promised neighborhood. And oh, that every group that's here could go back with billions to be able to do what it is you need to do. But you are here because you also know that everybody won't. And I am here to say, you do not need to be a promised neighborhood to take this wisdom back for our children. I'm a huge fan of out of school anti-poverty programs, but I reject I absolutely reject any idea that demography is destiny. Despite challenges at home, despite neighborhood violence, and despite poverty, I know, we all know, that every child can learn and every child can thrive. Building a future of opportunity in every community for every child across America is a major focus of this president's domestic agenda. We are looking for programs and policies that are nothing short of transformative. Business people and educators need to realize that their goals are ultimately the same. To build a society where everyone can develop and contribute. We have pushed so many of our children into the tumultuous sea of life in very small and leaky boats without survival gear and compass. And I hope God's going to forgive us, and I hope our children are going to forgive us, and I hope that we will all now recommit with all the power in this room that has come out to learn from the marvelous example of what works and can work, that we will give all of our children the anchors of faith and love, the rudder of hope, the sails of health and education, and the paddles of family and community to keep them safe and strong when life sea inevitably gets rough. We've got to do something, yeah, to save the children.